It is now time for the next installment of Buddhist Culture. This week's episode is titled The Colour of Dawn, which speaks about the great importance of a monk's robe, including the history, production and the effect it has had on the world for over 2,000 years. Life is like a dewdrop falling from the beak of a waterfowl, merging into an ever flowing stream. May this dewdrop reflect the moonlight or shine briefly as a tiny star, its light giving hope for life in the darkness. For reasons that a man should recognize, he garbs himself in the robes of peace, garments which are the color of dawn. The three robes of a Buddhist monk can totally transform an ordinary man into a holy one. By enveloping himself with these robes, he elevates himself to be as a son of the Lord Buddha. It looks quite easy, but the ordination ceremony is challenging, especially for one who promises to remain a monk for life. The set of monastic robes is called Pa Trai or Trai. It consists of three pieces of various sizes, each with a different duty. In ancient times, it was tailor made to fit its owner. In the early time of Buddhism, it was believed that a cloth should come from a dead body, then laundered and died. Buddhists still respect this belief in funeral ceremonies. Before cremating the deceased, a senior monk goes up and takes the patrai that is laid in front of the coffin.
Sometimes the robes are made from the finest cotton. It is said that the best quality cotton will give a cool and comfortable feeling during the hot season, while providing the warmth during the winter's chill. In ancient India, the town of Gasi was known for producing the best cotton to make monastic robes. <laughs> 